What's up guys, Panda here from Panda Gaming, and I want to say thank you for tuning into this video. Now this video is going to be breaking down the submission gameplay and what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. Uh, it's kind of a beginner's guide because to be honest, I still get a lot of people asking me, well, what direction do you go or how do you get out? I, I really don't understand what I'm doing. So I'm just making this video, you know, it's a pretty simple, straightforward video, but I want to show you and just talk to you about the game and what you're supposed to do in depth. So, thank you for tuning in. If you missed it, I already went through all the transitions on an updated ground tutorial. You guys can go check that out. The link will be in the description. So, just go check it out if you don't know how to stop them from putting you in a submission. Because, well, that's the easiest way to get out is just not get put in one. But anyways, let's get into a submission here with Cerrone. We're in the first stage. Okay, this shows you it's four gates. One, two, three, four. Now... With Cerrone, I picked him because he has that pretty little green gate right there on the bottom of the screen. We're not going to show you that one yet. We're going to go over what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. So, if you're Cerrone and you put someone in a submission, okay, what we're going to do is Conor McGregor or whoever you're fighting is going to start escaping. How do they do that? They move the right analog stick. Now, what you're supposed to do is move the right analog stick in the direction that they are going. So as you can see, I'm using Cerrone. I'm holding right on the right analog. Conor McGregor is trying to go right on the right stick as well. The gate is not going anywhere. Now if I let go of that, he can get out of that. You see that right there? So if I hold up and Conor McGregor wants to go up, he can't. I stop him from doing that. So all you have to do is trace what they're doing. Now, if I'm in this spot right here where I got a guy and he's got the far gate to the right, is really close I know that I'm probably gonna have to guard that gate a little bit more than I do say the left gate okay so that's just that's just the first step okay so let's get another triangle we're gonna go over this again so that right there is how you stop him now let's just say you're trying to get out how do you get out guys what's the most effective way this whole shenanigans where you go right left right left that's not the best way to do it not anymore okay that's not gonna work I'm going to go ahead and advance the gate so it resets us a little bit. You want to go three directions, at least three, okay? Four, you know, if you have a decent, you know, amount of stamina, that will work. But three is perfectly fine. So left, up, right, whatever you want to do. You want to go three gates and rotate them, okay? Another good thing that people do is they will, if you can hold a submission a little bit longer. Say a guy has pretty good reflexes, you know, he's shutting these gates down fairly fast. Well, if sometimes, if you go up, down, left, and then go down and hold down, he will go ahead and start going back up, and you can get that gate farther advanced into the submission, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. So, let's just break it down. Super simple. If you are trying to tap someone out, all you're trying to do is stop their gates from opening. So, you're holding the direction that they're holding. Okay? Just like that, they go around, you're going to stop them. Okay? He's going down, you hold down. That's all you're doing. Now, if you're trying to get out of that submission, all you got to do is rotate the gates. And once he stops you, see, see, if you're holding this and you're not going anywhere, you need to switch gates, okay? You don't need to go up and hold up forever because you don't have all day to get out of this submission. I mean, it did get a buff. It's still not where it needs to be, but it got a buff from what it used to be. So I'm happy with that. I'll take what I can get. So that's it, guys. That's super simple part of the submission game. That's how you tap people out. That's how you get out of submissions. Now I wanna go over one more thing with you and that is with Donald Cerrone, uh, Damian Maya has one, uh, Brian Ortega has one, but that green gate that you see on the screen right there, it says left. What does that mean? So if you're in trying to tap someone out, what do you do? Well, when the red gate pops up, you need to flick the left analog stick whatever direction the left gate is appearing. So you see it's up right there. So what you do, you see there's a big old L on the screen? That means flick the left analog stick what direction it's going. Now, so if we're sitting here, and you got him, you know, you're denying his gates, he's not getting anywhere. If you want to advance it, you just flick that stick up as soon as you see that red gate appear, okay? Now if you miss it, it does that right there. I'm going to show that again. Say the gate appears down, and I flick up. You see how the gates jump a little bit? It allows them to get closer to escaping. But if it pops up to the right, you want to sink it in a little bit farther. All you do is flick it to the right. I'll show you one more time. 
Oh, you flick up. Okay, the faster you get at that, the easier it's going to be to tap people out, okay? I'm going to show you one more thing. One more thing for you guys that you might not know about. You might, I don't know, but we're going to go over everything because I like to cover everything in as much detail as possible. Put him in the triangle. On the first stage of the triangle, like I said, Maya, Brian Ortega, I think Souza has one, but that green gate is a submission switch or switching submissions. It'll go from a triangle choke to an arm bar. So how do you do that? It's simple, it's just like the red gates. You wanna flick up on the left analog stick and you see how it switches to an arm bar. And now we're in the last gate of the submission. This will actually tap him out if you get it. It's a two gate submission. It's nasty, it's really good. I love that right there. We're gonna escape with Connor. I wanna tell you guys, Pro tip, if you don't know, a lot of people don't know, but about that little green gate, there's a secret to it. Okay, put someone in a triangle. Now, say that green gate pops up. If you're Connor, the one thing you should be focusing, if you know the guy that you're fighting has this ability, then you need to wait for that green gate, okay? You're trying to escape like normal, but you're waiting. And as soon as that green gate appears, you need to flick down on the left analog stick. Boom, just like that, the gate will go away. Odds are, if you can flick that before he does, he's going to flick it as well, just a little bit slower than you, and it's going to advance your gates. Okay? So, I'll show you that, guys, one more time. We'll go ahead and get out with Connor using three directions, because it, it will pay off in the end, okay? It'll pay off in the fourth gate. You're pretty sure you're going to get out in the fourth gate. So, remember, he puts you in this triangle. As soon as you see that left gate appear, boom, you flick it. You don't have to worry about it anymore. You can't switch it. He probably flicked it. And he probably messed up. Oh, crap. What happened? Why did it disappear so fast? It's because you're the man and you've watched this tutorial and you know what to do to stop that from happening. Now, hopefully this has helped you guys out a ton. I hope so. If it has, make sure you leave a like on this video. Share it to your other buddy who all he wants to do is box because, well, this is MMA and he needs to learn the ground game as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you at the next video, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video.